Okay, this is just a short video of an XP I've just knocked up over the last couple of days. Too many couple of hours, so um, I'm using uh, four of these poles from Decathlon. Now this is the hub I'm using here is from the, um, the hex beam that I built early in the year, but I never actually put it up because it's too big, really. So 10 meters have been open pretty good uh, the last few weekends, so I thought I'd knock up a 10 meter hex beam. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. Just about, just about see it there. So this is the. Um, that's where the ends come together. We use a bit of um, of a tent, tent line stuff. So now I'm going to put on top my M fed half wave uh, on this pole here on top, so we can compare them. Uh, they're the two Yogis for satellite two and seventy, two X quads. And um, now this, this is my transformer here for the m fed halfway. That's been up there for a year now, just in this box, and it's there's no water in there. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? A little bit of corrosion down there, and then washers aren't stainless, obviously. But well, everything else is all right. It's so I'm going to compare it with that. There's a this um, moxin, so we can see the difference. Switch it straight over them. We'll know then. I'll know if it's any any good. So I'll just carry on putting it all together. I mean, there's plenty of um, calculators online for doing the moxin, so I mean, I just use one of them. So if you use one of them, I'm not going to go through. I'll put it together. There's plenty of info on that. But if you do want to know anything, you just leave a message in the comments or send me an email. Um, go on QRZ, put my call sign in, send me that way or whatever you want. Uh, this is what I use for doing the coax. Just a little bit of um, chopping board. Or I've got off another project to cut off, that's why it's an odd shape. So it's starting to go dark now, so I'll try and get it together and come back in a minute with it all put together and then we'll go and try it on air. Right, so it's up now, but it's going dark. <laughs> so uh, I've kind of had to lash it up a little bit, so I've had to um, pinch a feed off the off one of the augies. So I've pinched this box because it's a um, N fed, not N fed. End type connector, I just put into there so I'm joining the coax on inside there. Goes up into my choke ballum and up to there, then up to the moxin. And then I've got the M fed off wave uh, on that pole on the top there. So I've moved it up there now so we can uh, compare it against it, against the moxin. It looks dead bright in the camera, but it isn't that bright where I am now. <laughs> so there we go, anyway. So I'll get it winched up and we'll go up into the shack and test it. Hopefully there's something on 10 metres to listen to anyway. We'll check the SWR now. So this is the M-Fed half wave now. Uh, you can see it going on. That's, that's right that is because it's an 80 to 10. I haven't got the compensation coil on so that, I'd expect that. So we flick over to the moxin now, do the same again. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So if we start up here, let's try that. Yeah, so it pretty much covers the whole band. Well, it does really, yeah, it's just over 1.5 at the end there, so yeah, that's good. And this is the M fed up here, so uh, okay. So I'm trying to find some weaker signals, but I can't really. So that's the uh, Moxon, and that's the M fed. I can't tell the difference yet, can you? That's the Moxon, and that's the M fed. Actually, there's less noise on the M fed pointing that way. Didn't much difference on that one, I don't think. Right, I found some money now. So that's on the M fed, and then that's on the Moxon. So nine down to. Yeah, I just know I've been doing it. Oh, he's eight now. Picking nine now. You do better than he wants. Looks different. 
It's just a little, little square box, a little cube. Doesn't make a massive uh, difference, really. It's got Did it first, but I suppose it depends on the propagation. That's all there is. But it, uh, it does a great job. That's on the mock scene. Uh, no, there's no difference now, there was just though. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, you are 5 9, peaking 5 9, uh, over. Okay, you got up to 5 7 that last time. Lock you with a 57. Name and this then is Mark. Mike Alpha Radio Kilo QSL. Yeah, thank you, Mark. I've swapped antennas now. Is that any different to uh, QSL? This is the M fed off wave now. Oh, thank you for the Yeah, thank you, Mark. Take care. Seven three. So that's Trinidad and Tobago for about four thousand plus miles. I don't think it emailed me on the Hemford halfway, but the propagation was up and down, so it's not really a fair test, I suppose. Right, okay. We it's the next day now, so um, it's quite windy, so I can't have a tower up that high, really. Well, that's it from the shock at the shack window. You can just about see it there, so it's not dead eye, as you can see. The yeah, M-Fed is quite alright above it and it goes up on a 5 metre pole and across down the garden to another pole at the back of the shed there. So it is higher but this is how I would have it so this is the best way for me to sort of test it to see you know, which is a better one. So I appreciate that the moxon is lower but in my situation this is how it would have to be. So I've gone on to the online SDR at Hat Green. Now it's only 15 miles away for a transmission test. Now. I mean it isn't very far, 15 plus miles, something like that, so you know maybe it isn't very good um, for DX but anyway it's the only way I can kind of test it. So I've marked up my me, uh, me switch now so I don't get confused which is which like I did it yesterday. And if we, um, so this is the SDR there, there's a meter, the signal meter. And the first one I'll do will be on, uh, this is the Moxon now, so that's a Moxon, 103. DB, it's not a very good signal. Switch over to the MFED off wave, and you can barely, you can barely hear it. It's 111, say. 111 on the MFED. Oh, it's 102, 103, yeah, so. Okay, let's have a listen to this guy here. So that's on the MFED now. So uh, that's on the MFED, it's PK9 there. Germany Whiskey 4, Zulu Alpha well, Romeo, also 5-9. Thank you, K1 Japan, Bravo. Alpha Delta 5, London, 5-9. Five so that's a mock soon, you get a lot more noise in the mock soon. It's really amazing today, I hope it lasts through the weekend for the contest. 73, take care. Echo radio, please. Echo radio. Japan, Bravo. That's yeah. the MFED. Please, ending Zulu. That's the Moxon. Make sure you look. Uh, okay, that's on the MFED off nice wave. Nice to meet you here. Uh, like I said five nine plus. And that's on the Moxon. Lafayette, Louisiana area. My call, Norway five, Papa Sierra Tango. And the name is Wendell. Uh, beautiful day. There's on the Moxon, so that's a lot better. And I don't think you can buy a cloud today. There's a uh, beautiful, beautiful day, and, and this uh, really 80 is kind of cool. That's on the m -fed. So this short video ended up being quite long. Uh, well, I'm trying to get a good comparison. Now, sometimes the uh, Moxon has brings them, receives better than the m -fed, and all the time the m -fed better. I suppose it depends where I'm pointing the mock when I get that. But even if I'm pointing the right way, I put the call sign in, put the bearing in where they are, and sometimes it's, you know, one's better than the other. So I think on transmit the mock is better. Uh, I've spoken to a couple of people, and I think, you know, but the propagation's up and down that much. You know, a few seconds later, it could drop down when I've swapped antennas, and it's the propagation, not the antenna. So difficult to call it, really. So, yeah, that's on the mock now. And that's on the N-Fed. So that's definitely better on the Moxon. 
Well, the Fonte, the other guy in the mops, he must be different to the direction, obviously. The, the other guy's in New York. Him, you know. Yeah, him now. Well, he's no different now. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, if I could only have one antenna, it would have to be the MFED halfway because it does all them different bands, you know. The Moxon doesn't make a great difference, really. It might do on lower signals, it's difficult to find. So, what's my conclusion? I'll stick to the MFED, I think, if I'd have, if I'd have only one antenna. Maybe I haven't made the NFED right, the Moxon right. I mean, the SWR looks okay, on the uh, analyzer looks okay, but, you know, that's not to say it is right, but... This is the Moxon now. Okay, this is the Moxon, the Moxon now. I'll just key off for a second and come back on the NFED. Okay, this is the NFED half wave now, Chris. Uh, over. Okay, yeah, the Moxon is better by about 1 to 2 uh, dB on the F meter, QSL. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much, uh, Chris. Appreciate that. I think on receive, there's not that much difference in it, but on transmit, I think there's a big, big difference. Um, I'm just doing a YouTube video. Is it okay if I uh, put you on there, Chris? Oh, yeah, sure. No problem, bud. Happy to, uh, happy to do that. And, uh, that's the end, Fred. Yeah, that's correct, Chris. I, I haven't um, got your call sign actually. You need to just repeat it for me in a minute. I'll write it down. I'm holding the camera and switching switches and pressing the mic all at the same time, so I'm going off hands there. Uh, go ahead. Uh, no problem, Ben. I, uh, I completely understand. The call sign is November 2, Juliet Uniform Sierra, N2JUS. And uh, you came up to 57, 57 on that last one. And, and what's my signal report for the logbook, Ben? Yeah, you're picking 5 and 9, Chris, 5 and 9. It's a little bit of QSB, so he's dropping down to 5, 6, 5, 7, something like that. But So I'm just on the Moxon now. I'll just quickly switch over as I'm transmitting now to the NFED. Then I can see the difference uh, totally. So that's the NFED off wave now, Chris. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, QSL. Roger, roger. Yeah, right. you on the NFED, but when the, when the signal drops, Yeah, QSR, brilliant, Chris. This is the test I was after, actually. I've been flirting up and down the band, um, trying to find someone who could, you know, got the time just to do a quick test because everyone wants a quick signal report and off they go. So that's brilliant. That, yeah, the, it isn't that high, actually. The Moxon's just sitting behind the house now. I've had to lower it slightly because the wind's getting up over here and I've got no guys on the tower, so I'm, uh, I don't want it too high. So it is just sitting below the ridge of the house, so... That's probably not helping either, but uh, that's great, Chris. Uh, I really appreciate the help there. And uh, say in a few days, I'll put it on YouTube. And if you just put my call sign in, you, you should find the video uh, of it. Okay, sounds good. I will look for it then. Uh, and uh, both of you are doing a good job. I'm sure it's like the other directions, uh, the, the, the other one does better. So that's what I've always found. Yeah, okay, I might have a listen to the contest. Yeah, I'll flirt on. I did last year. Uh, I'll have a go on that, definitely. Yeah. Okay, Chris, thank you very much for your help. Uh, have a nice day and uh, take care. 7 3, Chris. Yeah, take care. So, what are you doing in 70 watts then, roughly? So, the Moxon actually transmits better than the um, NFED by that. But then I suppose the NFED's uh, going from west to east, um, is facing, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. So, on reflection, really, the Moxon, for a bit of wire, you know, and range in a certain way, it does all right, really. One to two S points on transmit, you can't really complain about that. Maybe if I go it up higher, 
um, you know, way above the house. He would perform a lot better than, than what he does. So, you know, I can't complain, really. Um, particularly easy to put together. Um, so, yeah, you know, the Moxon's the winner, really, I'd say. I'm definitely on transmitter, I mean, no, no doubt whatsoever. Now, I'll have, um, I'm going to knock, knock up another Moxon, the portable. I've kind of got the bits ready, but not put it together yet. So, I'll uh, more than likely be back with a video of that, and I'll try and keep it short this time. So, uh, thanks for watching if you've got this far. <laughs> Can't imagine many of you have, but uh, there you go. Take care.